Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel on French with Anupa. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. We are on lesson number 5, Le Voyage, the trips, part 4. Other parts and the other videos on Antigen class 9 is present in the playlist titled the same, Antigen class 9. The link is in the description. Do watch it if you haven't. So we, were, we have to start from page number 63, the lower half. So let's begin. Pauline raconte son vécant à ses camarades complètes avec les valves à voir ou être. So Pauline describes her weekend to her classmates. We have to fill the verbs à voir and être. So it's simple enough because the past participles are given. So we need to just decide uh, which verb will become based on the past participle, which auxiliary verb will become. Like for the avoir verb, avoir come, and for être, it will be être in the fill in the blank. So, passé composé, both the videos, avoir and être, must watch. Uh, before that, we could just go to the uh, irregular past participles. Again, it's covered in that video also, but still we can do it in a quick manner, in brief manner. So, avoir's past participle is EU, O. EU, O is avoir's past participle. For D, D I R E, which means to say, it is D I T, D. Then for être, to be, uh, the past participle is ete, E with an accent AQ, then T, and then again E with an accent AQ. Then fair, to do, the past participle is F-A-I-T. Then, murir, M-O-U-R-I-R, murir, to die, the past participle, M-O-R-T. Then, netre, N-A-I-T-R-E, the past participle, ne, N-E, E with accent A-Q. Then, repondre, uh, R-E ending verb, so we will remove the R-E, and we will put the U at the end. So the pondre will be the pondu, the past participle. Then we have venir, V-E-N-I-R. Venir means to come, the pondre means to respond, to answer. So venir's past participle is venu, V-E-N-U. And for voir, which means to see, V-O-I-R, the past participle is V-U, view. And for boire, B-O-I-R-E. Boire means to drink. The past participle is bu, B-U. Simple enough. Now let's start with the question. Vendredi soir, Friday evening, uh, J apostrophe dash pri de leçon de piano. Okay. Now we are to do être and avoir. In the question, it's already given, J apostrophe. Now, J apostrophe will be there only if the verb begins with a vowel, right? Now, je suis. If you conjugate être, it does not. But if you conjugate it with a vowel, J, A, I, A, I, A is a vowel. So, first blank, simple enough. Even in that logic also, you can do it. Otherwise, the past participle given is pre. So, pre is what? Prendre. Prendre is done with avoir. Passer composé is done with avoir. The auxiliary verb is avoir. So, j'ai pris des leçons de piano. I took my piano lessons. Ensuite, the, je suis allé à la campagne avec mes parents. Sorry, I told the answer while reading. Uh, then, we dash aller à la campagne avec mes parents. Aller is a verb to be done with être. The auxiliary verb for aller is être. So we will fill it with être. So je suis. There is no numbering in this question. It's given in the form of a para. So I'm writing the answer in this manner only. Like numbering is not possible. Aller à la campagne avec mes parents. We are going to the, we went to the countryside uh, with my parents. So le samedi matin. The Saturday. Saturday. So le samedi matin, the Saturday morning, je je dash écrit des lettres. I wrote letters. Again, the verb is écrit, and moreover, in the question, it's given j apostrophe. Simple enough. 
Two indications are there that we need to put avoir. So now we have a je, je dash, lu le poem de Lamartine. And I read the poems of Lamartine. So I read lead. Lead is with avoir. So we will write AI again. A midi les amis dash arrive à la maison pour déjeuner. Arrive is with etre. So a midi les amis sont. Like third person plural, S O N T, sont arrive. À la maison pour déjeuner, nous dash bavarde un peu. Bavarde means to talk. So to talk is with avoir. Bavarde is with avoir. So, nous avons bavardé un peu. We talked or we gossiped a li little. So, I think it's avant. Nous avons, yes. Le soir, the evening, je dash rentré à Paris. Rentré is with être. So, we will write je suis. Rentré means to return. So, in the evening, I returned to Paris. Dimanche matin, Sunday morning, Je dash fini mes devoirs. J'ai fini mes devoirs. Fini is with avoir. So j'ai fini. I finished my homework. And uh, puis j'ai rangé ma chambre. And then I arranged my bedroom. So J apostrophe is there and rangé is with avoir. So A. And le soir, je dash. View a bon film à la télé. And then I watched a good film on the TV. Voir is the verb given. And voir, we have with avoir. So again, a. So answer is really quite simple. First one is a, then sui, then a, a, so, avant, sui, a, a again, and then a again. So simple enough. Now we are moving to the next page. Page number 64 is what we are supposed to do now. We have our two questions over here. Question number one, simple enough questions. First one is of passé composé. That too, with uh, this thing, MCQ. It's very simple. So first one is, Swazi et écrit la bonne forme du passé passé. We are to choose, like passé composé sentences there, so we need to choose the partic past participle, which is the correct to be put in the given sentence. So first one is Pierre a dash le journal d'aujourd'hui, d'aujourd'hui, okay. So Pierre read the newspaper, today's newspaper. So read is lead. Lead's past participle is L-U-U. -U. The three options given are L-U, L-U, then L-U-S, and then L-U-E. Second and third are wrong because agreement is not required here. Moreover, agreement is not even applicable. So first one will be the A part. Oh, it's like one, two, three. Okay. So the first one will be part A, Liu. Second, Anne est allée au cinéma ce matin. Anne is a girl. And the verb is alle. The past participle, A-L-L, E with an extra E-Q. And then, and being a girl, we will add an extra E at the end. So it will be an it alle. So first option, wrong, there's no E. Second option, there's an extra S. So third option is perfect. So C will be alle. Third, le président des états unis the president of United States, a uh, dash a uh, discourse a la télé. Okay, United States President gave a speech on the TV. So, fair will be the verb. And the option given I, F-A-I-T-E, F-A-I-T-S, and F-A-I-T. The past participle is F-A-I-T, no agreement required. So, third one will be option number C, F-A-I-T. Fourth. Uh, we are page number 64. Again, I reminded you. Les amis au dash du juste fruit au déjeuner. 
Again, no agreement required. The verb is buar. The past participle is bu. So let's see which is the correct option. First one is bue, wrong. Third one is bus, wrong. Second one is bu, which is correct. So fourth one will be bu, bu. And fifth one, the last one of this question. Artu dash to not oh professor. Did you tell your name to the professor? To tell is deed. D I R E and the past participle is D I T. Again, no agreement required because it's with avoir and there's no exception case also present in this question again. So, fifth one will be uh, C part D I T. First one has an E at the end, second one has an S at the end, it's not required. Question number two Complete le journal d'Angelique or employant le passé composé. So there's an article given right here of some girl named Angelic. I don't know. Uh, so we have to use passé composé to complete the article. Fair enough. We can do it. Let's do it. So my copain et moi, so my friends, colleagues and I, nous sommes à Delhi. We are in Delhi. Hier, yesterday, okay. Indication, pass the composer to be used. Hier, nous dash, prendre. I am just writing the pass the composer part, whilst I am just discussing. So in the bracket, we are given prendre. The subject is nous. So prendre's past participle, P-R-I-S. And it's done with avoir. The auxiliary verb is avoir, so nous avons. We took le bus à Janpat qui se trouve au centre de New Delhi. Uh, we took the bus from Janpat, which, will, which, is the, which is situated in the center of New Delhi. Nous dash allé au marché tibetain où Sylvie et moi, okay. So we went to a Tibetan market where Sylvie and I. So we went, the verb is allé. Now Angelic, and this person, Sylvie. I suppose Angelic is a girl's name and Sylvie is also a girl's name. So together they will account for what? Feminine plural. Uh, but it's written mes copains, mes copains et moi. So we can't be sure that they are all feminine or not. But for this particular part, it's clearly mentioned that these two were there. But again, we are not sure, right, what others are. There can be male uh, friends also. So it's a group, right? We can't predict. So we need to use what? Masculine plural agreement. So it, because it's with avoir, like I was a little uh, muddled because of the Sylvie and Mua part. Otherwise, it, has, it is with Nu, and Nu accounts for all of them. This Angelic, then Sylvie, and all their other friends. So we will write this one. Perfect. Nu dash les tissus, les foulards, les statuettes. Okay, they bought some different different items they shopped for. Achete is the verb given to buy. Achete is done with avoir. So simple enough. Nous avons achete. With an accent, AQ. Simple. Then we have pui nu reprendre. La bus, la bus pour aller au jantar mantar. Then we retook the bus. Re pronder, we took. Pronder is with avoir. Re pronder will be with avoir only. Simple enough. So, everything is with nu and not with il. So, it will be some. And for Ashet, it will be Avo. So sorry for that. Everything is given in Nu. Didn't 
look at it a little bit. So, nous avons, avons repris. Nothing but just add ad before pre. It's done. Le, okay. So, Janta Mante is what? L'Observatoire Astronomique Construit par le Maharaj. Jai Singh A. Uh. So, it's an astronomical observatory which was constructed by Maharaja Jai Singh the first. Apre nu dash dejane don a restaurant indien. So, dejane is with, I have to rub it due to the space constraint. Dejane is with avoir. So, nu zavo. Avo. And it's an ER ending verb. So, remove R. And on the E, put the extra AQ. I have to erase these two also because there are some more in this question. On suite, then on dash alle. Okay, the single blank with a different subject. I'm happy to see that. On suite, on dash alle. Alle is to go, which means at the so, or, do we say we when we translate it, or one, but it is tweeted as third person singular. So, we will write EST and then alle. Or, alle. We went o Rajpat. O Rajpat, you immense. Avenue, the plus vieille kilometer, the longer, qui resemble au Champs Elysees. Okay, so it's a huge avenue, kilometers long avenue, which resembles the Champs Elysees of Paris. Question number three. Question number three is complete avec les mots convenables. Okay, le, la, le, o, 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 we are given plenty of options. So, au bureau de l'enseignement d'Air Canada. Okay, at the office of Air Canada. Inquiry office. L'enseignement is inquiry. So, let's, okay, it's in the form of bullets. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Six diamond shaped bullets are given in books, so I made them only. Quel sont les vols pour dash Mexique, s'il vous plaît? How are the flights for Mexico, please? So he's asking for the flight to the Mex to Mexico. So we will write le in the first one because Mexico is a Feminine, not. It's, though it appears to be feminine, it ends with the E, but it's an exception. So we'll write le. Then we have pour aller dash Mexique for going to Mexico. Il y a plusieurs vol. There are a lot of flights. Oh, the pronunciation is vol. Okay, plusieurs vol. Um, because I have noted down in the book. A Montreal to Mexico City, U Bia Montreal to Acapulco. Must be some city. Not sure for the pronunciation. So Montreal to Mexico City or Montreal to Acapulco. So second one is O, A U O, the answer. Then third one, pour dash and Esquilia a vol direct. For India, is there a direct ticket? So India begins with a vowel, L apostrophe. Did you notice one thing? When we are simply saying pur and then the country, we are using the definite article, la la le, and when alle comes in between, pur alle, the verb is coming in between, then we are using the preposition, o, o, a, like that. So, simple enough to understand. Fourth one, no madame pur alle dash and vous passez par Londres dash Angleterre. Okay, for going to India, you have to pass by London in England. So both are feminine, right? So in the first one, it will be on, on and, 
and in the second one also it will be on because Angleterre is a feminine country, England. Combien de temps dure le vol pour les îles Caraïbes? How much is the duration of the flight for the Caribbean islands? Vous partez à 10 heures et vous êtes aux îles Caraïbes à 14 heures. So you will be leaving at 10 o'clock in the morning and then you will be in Caribbean islands in 2 o'clock afternoon. So it will take 4 hours. I skipped the fourth, though I said it, answer this, le, because we are simply saying pur le zil karaib, and there's nothing in between, no alle. And when we are saying pur alle, or uh, the ver verb is there, then we are writing AUX, the preposition. Question number four, pose le question avec comment, ou, combien, etc. Form questions using why, where, how, etc. Answers are given, questions we need to form. Il vient de Paris. Okay. He returned from, we, they returned from Paris. So, question will be, do vient deal. From where do they return? This is question number four. Second one is obvious. Okay, sentence given is obvious. So question could be, comment va-t-il à l'école? How he goes to school? On bus. So, comment va-t-il à l'école? Third one, il sont cinq. He is five. So what could be the question? Combien de garçons Okay, il sont five, there are five. Okay, got it. So let's form an example question. Uh, combien de garçons sont-ils? How many boys are there? There are five boys. So combien de garçons? So questions, video you can watch if you want to know this topic in detail. Combien de garçons sont-ils? How many boys are there? Question mark. Fourth one, Marie's attend ses amis. Marie's is attend, uh, waiting for her friends. So Marie's attend pour qui? For whom she is she waiting? So Marie's attend pour qui? For whom she's waiting? Let's wrap the top two. I hope you have noted it down. And the fifth one we have, Ils Arif a sank er. He will, they will arrive at five o'clock. So at what time will they will arrive? So simply when they will arrive, so quand Arif till, simple enough. Question mark should be there always in a question when we are writing. We are on question number five right now. Tu a journalist, tu va interview a un personnage célèbre de ton choix. Okay, so you are a journalist, you have to interview a famous personality it, uh, in, of your choice. It could be an actor, a singer, anyone. Pose lui les questions en employant quel depuis quand ou comme dans l'exemple ci-dessus. So ask him questions like Using quel, what, depuis quand, since when, who, where, uh, for, uh, as given in the example below. So example, example, le journaliste, which is you. Monsieur Bachin, depuis quand travaillez-vous dans des films? Mr. Bachin, from how many years are you working in the, in the movies? So Mr. Bachin would say depuis plus de 30 ans, for more than 30 years. That's more, this book is old. Prepare yun, question number six, prepare yun publicity pour visiter yun ville touristique on and. So make an advertisement for a tourist city. It could be done. Charms to Vietnam given in the chapter, right? It could be done easily. And lastly, question number seven, we have again posed the question. Same topic. 
Question number seven. Ala Duan. Okay. Sharif Palavol AF177. I arrived by the flight AF177. So, by which flight you arrived? So, Parkel Vol Arrive Vu or Arrive Tu. Both can be done. But it's better to be polite, so use Vu. No, je n'ai rien à déclarer. There's nothing to declare. Okay. So, question uh, would be is there something to be said or to be declared? So, avez-vous quelque chose? Like, it's Navia, right? So, the negative expression for is Navia. In affirmative, it will be quelque chose. So, uh, declare this topic we have already discussed. Now, we are left with three more. Uh, the numbering is in digits. So, this is the number two. Three, four, and five. Third, we have voici mon passeport. La voici. Here's my passport. So, votre passeport, s'il vous plaît. Your passport, please. Fourth, just a tourist. I am a tourist. The question, pourquoi visitez-vous la France? Why did you visit France? So, pourquoi is why. Visitez-vous. Have you visited? La France. And now lastly, the fifth statement. Je passe deux semaines au France. For how many days you visited France? I passed two weeks. So question will be, combien, how many? Combien de jours or combien de semaines? Both could work. Uh, Passez-vous? You passed or fonts. C'est tout pour aujourd'hui. That's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and French Learn Above. If you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. Also, like my Facebook page, Learn French Learn Above. Lesson number five, Le Voyage is over. See you in lesson number six, part one. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. N'oubliez pas que la langue française est l'amour.